pregame.com. Pregame.tv, WBA middleweight title on HBO. It is on HBO, right? Yep. We got Macklin. We got uh, the guy I can't pronounce. Golovkin. 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 The glove. Golovkin <laughs> is uh, the prohibitive favorite here, and with good reason. He is undefeated. Macklin has had four losses, but he hasn't necessarily been fighting tomato cans. And yeah. I, I actually went back, and I saw a couple of his fights in prep for this. And I'm sure you've seen it. There was a fight in 2006 against, what, Moore? Yeah, yeah, They yeah. just beat the living Non-stop. daylights out yeah, of each other. Yeah. It was like Hagler I'm so glad Burns. you brought that up. That was like one. Would, tell me that it was one of the best fights ever. By far. By far. And Macklin's been in a lot of those. And it's kind of like I, when I wrote my column this week in, in Game and Today, I, I used a, kind of a, something we always used to say in Philadelphia. You know, Philly's a big boxing town, it's a big fight town. And I watched Million Dollar Baby not long ago and, Great movie. and heard that same, you know, uh, quote in that fight, in, in that movie. And it's, you know, show me a, a boxer with heart, with just heart. And I'll show you a guy that's about to take a beating. And, and that, he's taken some beating. And so. that's what we always used to say in, in, the, in the gym back in Philly. You know, there's a lot of tough kids in Philly, a lot of tough kids that would had a lot of heart and were willing to take a beating but had no skill, you know, no now, boxing going skill. Going back to that fight that I saw him in, both he and his opponent, like I remember when I watched the Rocky movies and they're right. so fake when Apollo Creed's like almost <laughs> falling down and Rocky's almost falling down after throwing punches. Like that could never really happen, but it really did. And they, exactly. they, they were literally like just lunging, holding on shots, the rope and just swinging. Just taking shots at each other nonstop. Just rock them, sock them. And, and that's robots. exactly. Keep hitting and someone's going down. And that's how Macklin fights. The only yeah. problem and the reason he has those four losses is because when he fights elite fighters, the top boxers at that weight class, these guys also are boxers, not just brawlers. And that's when you need skill. And two of those Hart's very, not going to get it done alone. Very early in his career, but everyone's talking about that Sergio Martinez loss. That's, that's, that's where he got exploited the most, right. against Martinez, where he lost in, in the 11th round by TKO, because he was systematically broken down. And you saw a guy with heart take exactly what I touched on at the start, a beating. Slowly but surely, he took a beating. And, and the word afterward was, he's got heart. You know, he, he's, he took Martinez all the way to the end. You know, he, he was standing. He took a beating. He, he's, you know, we want to see him again. That's the kind of fi fan-friendly fighter. The only problem is guys like this, they only have a few of those fights left in them. And sure. they start to, to drop earlier and earlier and earlier, sooner and sooner. All of a sudden, that 11th round TKO becomes an eighth round TKO, and then a sixth round TKO. <laughs> and that's what happens not as their mention, career goes on. If I'm going to get beat on for 11 rounds and not make it to, and go the distance, why not drop not be, early? Would it not be the logical go uh, like, conclusion? Go. Let me just go in and throw haymakers for three a rounds. Exactly. Especially, I would think, against an undefeated guy like Golovkin that, that, uh, that it's been killing tomatoes. Cans, not tomato cans, but yeah, you know, he pretty much he has. Yeah, he hasn't really fought anyone, anyone good. You're but absolutely right. He looks right. great. This is what I, I read up on him. I would think that this is a case where if this thing goes eight rounds, nine rounds, Macklin's going to be laying on the ground, and he's got to know that. He's got to say, look, if this kid hasn't been hit real hard, let me go in and just go go down swinging early. You Am did I right? your homework, and and it's true. This is the the hardest puncher by far that Golovkin has faced to date. We don't know about his chin, about his chin yet because it hasn't him. been tested. Yeah. But here's what I could tell you. Right now, this kid holds, the as a middleweight champion, which he is, he holds the boxing record for highest knockout percentage. Amongst all, act, all active fighters, all weight classes right now, he has the highest knockout percentage at 88%. So tomato cans or not, this kid could throw leather. More importantly, he's a 2003 Olympic silver medalist at middleweight. He's a 2002 world champion gold medalist. So he comes in with an extremely good amateur boxing pedigree. Mm -hmm. So this kid knows how to box because in the amateurs, unlike the pros where you're wearing headgear and it's more about points than knocking out your opponent, you have to outbox. You have to have skill sure. to acquire gold medals, silver medals like he did. Mm -hmm. So this is a kid that's coming into the ring with such a great boxing pedigree and behind it, 
a punch that has given him the record for highest knockout percentage among active fighters. And, and That's why he's the most feared guy right now in boxing. The most avoided fighter, bar none, is Golovkin. And Macklin's going to go in there and he's going to do his... The only way he really realistically can win is to walk into the belly of the beast and And, just, and say, I, I, let me see what his chin's made of. Yes, I like it. Let's uh, make it official. Let's do it. Macklin Golovkin, listen, this week, unlike last week where the challenger Broner walked in as a minus 1,500 favorite, this week Golovkin's a minus 1,000 favorite. Personally, I think it's warranted, unlike last week where I didn't think Broner was deserving of minus 1,500 price tag, and he won by split decision, which tells me he really wasn't a minus 1,500 favorite and never had Molly Nalgy hurt at all. This week, Macklin should get hurt, and I do think Golovkin is worthy of minus 1,000. With that said, I'm not willing to lay that price. Instead, I'm going to look to go under. I think this fight's going to end a lot sooner than a lot of the writers are saying. A lot of guys think that Macklin having heart is going to go 10, 11, 12 rounds, possibly take this to a decision, take Golovkin into deep water, something no one's been able to done to do. He's going to test him. You keep hearing and reading about that. I tell you, that's not going to happen. This kid's been bred for this moment. At 31 years old, he has not really absorbed any punishment. This is Golovkin's coming out party. Look for him to finish Macklin nice and early and get that under for us. I'm going all over five rounds. under. Yeah, if he lasts five rounds, six, I, I give him, if I could find under six at a good plus, I'm all over it. Mm -hmm. I'm all I, over I, it. I, I know the first number I saw was like under like nine at really high vig, but obviously yeah. it gets adjusted. You know, we're in. I just I put eight down, seven and a half. I'm, I'm under that. Under, under. Excellent. Well, we go from talking about the most exciting sport. To some people think it's the most exciting sport. I don't know. To, to the, to the uh, Wimbledon. What are we going to do? It's Wimbledon. We're going to talk. People want to hear it. VR has the winner of Wimbledon. Yeah. He's been very good with these sort of things. I'm going to disagree with him, so I have a spirited discussion here. Uh, what do I know about tennis? But I, I just like controversy. How's Stay your with backhand? Us. Stay with us at uh, Badminton. Pregame.tv.